What is going on? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So today I want to talk to you about NEO. I want to go over some of the current data points, what's been coming out associated to the company, and why I recently bought more. Before we get into any of that, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. And with that said, let's get right to it. So right now the market's been open about 45 minutes. It is up 2.28%. As far as volume, 15.2 million shares have been traded, 56 is the average. So today is going to be a very heavy volume day, a lot of optimism in the broader market. So as far as news or anything along those lines, there hasn't really been all that much coming from NEO. As you can kind of see, last news came out on April the 1st. No recent SEC filings, nothing along those lines. But again, I've already kind of encumbered a lot of that in my previous video. The only thing really to talk on that kind of came out that is kind of associating to NEO is this. So the China Commerce Minister did say that China's electric vehicle companies do not rely on subsidies to gain competitive advantage. And you know what? In all honesty, they're not wrong, not 100%. Tesla, I remember investing in Tesla early on and I, I know a lot of the tax rebates was kind of thinking about getting cut. I think that again, that might've been early 2018, something like that. And Elon was freaking out saying that Tesla was not gonna be profitable by them taking away those kind of credits. It was just going to destroy the company. So in reality, this is very, very accurate. So a lot of people like to just paint all Chinese companies as crap and whatever, but honestly, maybe fundamentally behind the scenes, their operations are run a little bit more smoothly than a lot of American companies, no more notably Lucid and Rivian. So again, I found this very, very interesting, but whether the market takes notice of that, not so much because so far today, there hasn't been all that much institutional investors on the long. So despite the higher volume, I think a lot of that is being derived from just algorithmic trading and just swing traders. So in reality, institutions are still overlooking NEO despite their discounted value. So their PS ratio is 1.2. Their future is 0.9. That is absolutely insane. And so based off of that reason, as well as their technicals, this is why I did decide to buy a little bit on Friday. So you can kind of see I did buy 2,700 shares at $4.46. So I'm pretty happy with that. And that was over and above my 500 that I did or 400 on my interactive brokers. And unfortunately, my average isn't that good in that account. I think it's around six dollars and fifty cents i've been doing options so i've been able to get it down a little bit but neo is one of those very difficult stocks to predict i think in reality you just have to have a long-term time horizon and just weather the storm weather the crazy volatility because you know what there could be some downside but i think bigger picture based off of their at least results from their recent numbers like they're still doing fairly well. I think the market was overreacting by them cutting, like was it 1000 in Q1? Like that's absolutely nothing in my opinion. But beside the point, enough of me ranting, going over some data points and some updates. As you can kind of see, these are some of the recent analyst ratings. So last one was done by, looks like Jiang, 43% uh, success rating with Barclays, sell, downgrade, and $4 price target. Of course, this really did affect the price. An interesting thing with NEO is a lot of negative ratings really damage the stock. Any positive ones, such as Tim with Morgan Stanley, who has a 23% success rating, kind of just gets brushed right under the rug. So it's one of those very weird scenarios, but once again, it is more of a very clear indication of manipulation. So again, those are some of the recent ones. I think I brought up Vijay and Paul and whatever else before. So again, just to give you a quick overview of that. Moving on to, for instance, what shorts are doing and everything else. So shorts are returning about 82,000 shares right now. 12.15% of the free flow is being shorted. That works out to be 167.1 million shares overall are being shorted. Cost of borrow average is 4.29 and utilization is 76.15%. So I'm bringing this up merely as a analysis and as a benchmark, definitely not saying that NEO is a short squeeze play, but by NEO being green and shorts returning some shares, it does show that today's green day is validated and it kind of is justified. So that's kind of a positive thing. And so let me know your thoughts on that. As far as options, uh, again, with the market only being open about 45 minutes, you see $398,000 in calls being purchased versus 116 inputs. Sentiment wise, 55% 
percent of all the options being done today are optimistic so people do see a lot of upside with neo and of the call options that are being purchased you do see a consensus for it to be above five dollars for this week so in reality i think that's kind of a good thing but looking at puts you do see a consensus for it to be below 350 so very is kind of on a, a teetering point right now dark pool transactions starting off very popular so you do see one first thing this morning 12.6 million a lot of large institutions and for instance shorts like to use dark pool so obviously you can kind of take that with a grain of salt these are some of the transactions that did occur on friday so you can always pause it and read through it because i know i go through this relatively fast but aside from all of that fun stuff with it right now at four dollars and 47 cents it is between this s1 and the pivot so in comparison to other evs it's kind of in line so i think that's a good thing overall at least in the short term but four dollars and 38 cents is a very strong support it did bounce off of that on friday as well as today and then vice versa 508 is going to be that next target so neo is orienting towards more of the downside but based off of this if you do look on the chart it does show some signs of just consolidation and so in general once it does consolidate once good pieces of news come out whether it be specific to the broader market or for neo then you are going to see a very swift breakout and we've seen in the past neo does have that opportunity and most likely institutions are waiting for that good piece of news to come out for it to easily break out and into the higher percentile similar to what the options are kind of signaling so that is exactly why i did decide to buy recently it might continue to trend down without that news but i think bigger picture like i said if you do have a long-term time horizon with neo and you're kind comfortable with a lot of volatility and risk then I think right now might be a very good time to buy but who knows we'll just have to wait and see with a lot of volatile stocks such as NEO definitely you can always sell covered calls or sell puts or just do a variation of options so highly suggest in researching options if you haven't already but on the actual chart looking at stochastic you do see it at seven so that is considered a very oversold no defined trend but number of retail investors have been getting in ever since it looks like April the 2nd so that's kind of a positive thing so let me know your thoughts on neo have you been buying have you been selling what have you been doing with neo do you do options on it and for instance what expiry dates are you kind of targeting are you thinking long long term are you constantly doing short term stuff typically just for premiums i always do weekly options so that's kind of my thing i like to do so let me know your thoughts on that one final thing i just wanted to share with you take advantage of this promo simply sign up for an account with mumu throw 100 dollars at it and they do give you seven fractional shares of the mag seven so a 35 dollars total value so that's pretty good return on investment for just throwing 100 dollars at a new account plus mumu does have a lot of good i guess like information and whatever else behind the scenes so definitely take advantage of that with all that said i appreciate all of you watching